Don't want to raise, open the opportunity for the chip later to reshove. No, dude, no. No, 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 no! How do they have it here? Ace King, playable in the 55. So let's see how we do here. Michael, who we three bet last time, goes for a 7x open. Wow. Well, I don't really want to get all in pre-flop against Michael. I think I'm going to flat Ace King. I mean, I'm going to fold a lot to a 7.5x open, but I feel like they have a strong hand that's trying to get max value very deep, which is interesting against Ace King, right? It's pretty interesting because uh, I don't think they're going to stack off with Ace Queen, Ace Jack. Uh, they can have big pairs, but they, they can also have random stuff too. So I'm going to call just based on the sizing. A7-3, beautiful flop. We love it. We're super hyped. Uh, now we want to get money in the pot. Do we want to let uh, Mishi Heshi 99 bluff? We want to just fast play check raise at the flop, you know? I think probably check raise, especially against that sizing. Make it look like uh, a little suspicious so that I can get continuations from kings, queens, jacks, tens is the hope. So make it 20,500. Quick call, immediate call, turns a nine, bet again. About half pot, easy all in by the river, so we don't have to go huge here. Three on the end. I think we likely have the, bet, the same hand here, but we'll see. Wow. Oh my goodness, let's go chat, come on. 237,000, big time stack in the 55 Masters, let's go. Ace queen against nines, big flip here, big flip, come on in the Masters, boom, queen on the flop. Hold it all the way, Dottie, come on. Let's go, chat. Let's go. Beautiful stuff right there. We are on a lot of chips, man. 337,000. I think we're flatting for a second, but I think three betting is okay. Mr. Pow has 39 blinds to start the hens. Do we... I mean, it's, it's not our favorite, right? Like, if you ask the question, okay, you're under the gun plus one against under the gun, eight-handed. You know, uh, you get it all in against under the gun with jacks. Are you happy? It's like... You're okay, but it's not like you're slam dunk fist pumping like, this is the most profitable spot in the world, you know? It's likely the best way to go, but uh, it's it's still, it's a little nerve wracking. Pow folds, 10-9-4 on the flop. Check, no mate spam is rank, is it? <laughs> Gotta fry it, I'm out on spam, okay. Whoa, look at this! We got sub hype coming in, Adjo10, thank you so much Adjo, we just turned a uh, top set. All right, we bet on the turn they fold. Sweat it. Queens against kings here. Yikes. Oh! Big time yikes for you, let's go. Easy win. Never in doubt, chat. We always knew. Call. Hold it. Ah, oh, a lot of chips in this tournament, man. We have a lot of chips here. Here, we're going to be all in with the queens. Pretty sick that they have the queen high flush there. We could have lost more though, to be honest. Oh. Why? Why you gotta be why you gotta do me like this? Poker gods, please, poker gods. 350. Oh man, please. Pocket Kings in the 55 Masters. 94 left, 64 pay. We did have a peak 600,000 in this tournament, but we're still in a good spot. Yeah, shove. We play a lot against easy. They know we have a wide shove of range here, I think. You can also flat and try and squeeze uh, induce squeezes, but. Better with aces to mix in a flat there. Go for the shot with kings. Nothing, man. Nothing, chat. Nada. We got another bubble here. This 55 is officially a bubble treatment. 77. 64 pay. 129, 173 pay. This, however, even though we're on the bubble, we got bubble foul. It's time to gamble with the queen and the queen, dude. Queen and the queen, it's a beautiful hand. I'm not giving it up because of no bubble. We're playing the queens. Zinges is all in. We're going to go all in over the top. No bounty or anything, just for the chips. Hold. Yes. Yes, 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 yes. There we go. 447k. Beautiful. You'll love to see it. Okay. Uh, check, check on the 569 here. I think our opponent's going to have more 5-6s and 9s than we do. Raising this position. Although we do have a lot of strong hands. In general, it's not the right flop to bet, I don't think. Uh, we're going to get check raised a decent amount, etc. They bet on the turn, and we give it up. Pocket three is okay. This is good, and we're in the money. Red fell type confirmed of the Masters. I think we have a best finish locked up here in the Masters, I'm pretty sure. Uh, but let's go for it here and try and spin it up. 
Threes against King Queen. Okay, this is a good start. Nice! Three on the turn. Let's go, chat. Come on. Let's go, chat. I'm not gonna raise the fours. Jamming is close, actually. I think I should jam. I think I made a mistake there. Factoring in this stack when I shouldn't. Um, I think I can jam this with fours. But raising sucks. Let's see what Arito Gato does first. Alright, we're all in. It's a big spot. Oh, it's a four. Hold it. Let's go. Let's go, chat. Big moments. We have 900,000. Might be able to contend for this thing. Come on. Call. Ace queen against eight deuce. Why? Why are they doing that? Oh, no. Oh, no. Yes. Yes. I was like, no, dude. Not now, dude. No. <laughs> All right. 1.3. Okay. Should I click it now? I should wait until this gets through just in case it... it... What? What, what, what are we doing out here, man? 10 ball. Hold it. Oh, hold it. Okay. Why is this so stressful? 1.666 million chats. 1.666 million. Olymp here. Just gonna raise call, I think. Honestly, it's a pretty good hand. Um, there's 250k dead in the middle. So if I raise and they jam, we call. Um, but we don't want to let... A hand with so much equity go four ways to the flop for free for all these other players. So we just raise to 250 and we call off if a, a jam comes in from these two. Not from the small blind though, I don't think, AK Maki. Because that would be for 30 blinds. But they should never have anything good here. Like, never. Doesn't make any sense, really. Oof. Well, this is very spicy. I think we bet. We have three to a flush, four to a straight. Um, and also, this is what we're representing. They should have a decent amount of aces, but we're going to give ourselves a really good price. And this price also makes sense if we have a nutted hand. Like, look at their stack, right? 800k with 650 in the middle. We don't have to bluff for that big in this spot. It all sort of means the same stuff. And I expect them to fold hands when they don't have an ace, really. You know? It works. That's it. That was simple. Posture check redeemed for Spud. Sit up, chat. Sit up. Thank you, Spud, for checking the posture, bro. I appreciate that. So the check... East in five, turn deuce. Okay, we are still going to check here. We want to keep the pot small. Gase has 400,000. It's like nothing. So I don't think we want to value it with our second pair raising under the gun here. Ah, we print. That's great. That's really good. Now, this is a beautiful hand. AK Maki 95. Goes for a raise to 150. I am actually going to three bets. Now, I'll fold to an all-in from AK Maki, but really, the plan is to just try and scoop the 300k, and if Gase comes along, then cool, we go for it. Uh, let's sweat it for you, chat. Oof, not so good. Not so good, that situation there, but 2.6 million is great. We're in sixth, actually. Raise again. And Mkadi 10 calls the big blind. King 9-7 here on the flop. We're going to go for a bet. 140. Ah, oh, they're very short. Yeah, 120. It's fine. I mean, we want action here, right? We want action. We get it. No! We don't want action. Throw it away. Throw it away. The ace four hearts. Oh, uh, dude. Rip. 2.1 million. Oh, we're going to raise up with the jacks here. <laughs> oh, come on. Gase is so short, though. They have less than a pot size bet left. I'm just going to check. I'm going to try and get the showdown. If they bet, though, it's like... I think they have it, right? The thing is, they flat with, like, eight blinds here. Seven blinds. We win. Okay. I mean, it's, it's more uh, proof, I think. If they bet, I think we can just fold our hand. They had nines. Wow, Gase is really doing some weird things because, I mean, you've got to go all in with nines preflop, right? You have to. You don't have to, but you should. We're going to jam over this limp. King it suited. It's a good hand. You can check back too, but, like, I just expect there to be mostly limp folds here given the stage of the tournament and the play of the tournament so far. We'll go for the rip, 2.6. All right, it's 86 of the small blind. Some of the limp. We like our hand though. We're just going to uh, include a strong hand in our limps here and control the size of the pot as well. Like if we raise and they call, we've inflated the pot out of position. If they three bet, we're gonna have to fold, which we hate with this hand. So I think it's just a good idea to, to mix in a limp with some trashy aces here. And beautiful flop. Bet two thirds. Think it a call, four on the turn. We're gonna keep betting now. It gets a little uncomfortable if they uh, raise. Still think it's worth betting. 
Five, seven, and clubs are definitely hands that are possible to have, but not likely. Let me take it down. Ace Jack, raise under the gun. I'm gonna flat here in the big blind. Okay. Uh six three three on the flop. Eh. Not such a good flop. We do have a decent hand here, though. They bet one quarter. We're going to continue for uh, a quarter of the pot. I think it's okay. Probably won't turn my hand into a bluff here. East Jack is like the edge. You know what I mean? Um, ooh. Nah. We're just going to get called by too many middling, middling pairs. We're trying to bluff like Ace King. But like tens is just calling all day, you know? That's the thing. I don't like bluffing there. Shoving a call. I'm out with the fours. Bubble, final table, the five diamond, people sag. No, Rosoni TM. No, bro. Okay, Rosoni, I'm sad for you, but please send whatever good luck you have because I need it now. I need it now. Let me make it 2.3. Come on, please. Someone have the ace queen ball. Stick it in the middle. All right, we'll take it. We'll take it. Sweat it? Oh, we can. It's out of time. 10 8 offsuit here. Fold from Z flopping. Run it up, folds. We call. We're going to be all in, Rebecca. Come sweat it. Come sweat it. No! Wow. Against Ace Queen, what are the chances? They have seven blinds. Oh, God. No, unfortunately, we are very short because we lost the Ace Shack to Ace Queen all in uh, against Hot Since right before the break. But we'll do our best, anyways, to come back. 13 to 13, 285 cash. Now we're on a money bubble here as well. 346 is the next page jump. I have a little chicken stir fry for dinner. I'm just going to let it sit there for a second because, well, it could be quick. I mean, we're going to have to be all in pretty soon. <laughs> you know, we have seven blinds. Jack 10 suited. I like shoving this if it folds to us. If one of these two puts an action, though, we have to stay out of the way. It does fold to us. So we're all in for 830. Spud's saying, can you try to knock him down a little cheaper? I think so, dude. I think we can, yeah. All right, Jack, to get back in this tournament, dude. Jack. Club! Jack Club Queen! Oh, let's go, Dottie. Come on. We're back in, dude. 2.5 million. Yes! We're back in, chat. Oh, what a dream. Okay, this is going to be the final table sweat, dude. We are actually 9 to 10. So we're the second shortest stack. Everyone's bunched up at around 3 million, really. I think we limp uh, to induce action here. I mean, Baratune should be pretty aggressive at this spot. And we can capitalize and try and take those chips. There we go, 3 million. A little sweaty, a little sweaty. Oh, nice little sweat there. Look at the stacks, right? Three million, three million, three and a half million. Three million, two and a half million, four million. It's all very cl close, isn't it? Like we're all bunched up. Even after that pot, we didn't change our position. So it's going to be a bit of a battle here to get to the uh, final eight, but we're in a good spot. We raise with jacks. Oh, it's a stressful hand, bro. It's a stressful hand, especially on this stack too. Great flop. 10, nine deuce. We have an over pair. Fantastical. So many times there's going to be an overcard. Not today. We don't want to bet huge, though. I think 43% is fine. Yeah. Get it in there with that uh, Jack-10, bro. Let them have Jack-10 and just go for the ship here or something. Ooh, interesting turn eight. This is typically a really good turn for them. In reality, we have the open ender and the overpair here. So I think we still want to bet for value in this spot. You can check back, too. You can check back and take the free cards. But we have an overpair. Oh, man. It's really interesting. I think it's a really interesting card. I think I'm going to check, actually. I should check a lot with my range. Our hand is not that vulnerable. No, I bet again. It's close, I think, between bet and check. I mean, we like our hands. If we bet, we have to call jams, is the thing. Um, rabbits. Uh, missed it. Okay. 3.7. Check with the king nine. East 10 7 here on the flop with two hearts. Call. Backdoor hearts. King high is the best hand sometimes. Definitely continue. Pick up a king on the turn, which is good. 532. Pretty interesting here, I think. I think we should call again. It's, of course, possible they have it, but very often I don't... I think they don't have it as well, you know? Very often they don't have it, chat. That was the insight you got on that hand. Sometimes they have it, but often they don't. That was it. That's the thought you got. But uh, we were right. Hey! Six of ten. Hey, good spot. Hey, for the daily legends achievements. Hey, come on. Raise up the A7 on the button. All right, we get a call. Three, five, seven on the flop. Great flop for us. Uh, I think I want to bet on the bigger side here, given the board texture, actually. So we're going to bet 560. We've got another 100 bits coming in from Lord Pi. Thank you, bro. Scam chain rolls on, chat. Scam chain rolls on. Thank you, Pi. 
keep betting here. Still expecting to have the best hand quite a bit. So we're going to bet 880. With a pair of 7s, nut kicker. They shouldn't have very many 10s, right? Like what 10s call on the flop? 10 7, 10 5, 10 3. Uh, you know, 10x of hearts. Maybe, but they probably check raise. So we keep betting. We take it down. 3 8 suited. We're going to fold to run it up 92. We're going to 3 bet here to 1.2 million. Yeah. Uh, just put pressure on them, given everyone's stacks are pretty close together with a suited king. Uh, makes it really difficult for them to play back against this. You know, they can stick it in for the 4-bet, they can peel off, but in general, I think it's a good spot. There we go, chat. There we go. Rabbit hunt it. Rabbit hunt it, chat. 7 million rabbit hunt it, chat. We got 7 million, chat. Come on. Uh, not gonna call with the twos. Depth-wise, 27 blinds deep, so set mining. Eh. We also have a squeeze stack at the big blind. Our image is also really bad. I don't want a three bet in this spot. I'm just going to fold. Don't like calling. Don't think it's profitable. I don't like three betting given the situation. We're going to defend here with a 9-7 for min raise. Beautiful, dude. Top pair of nines. Yes. Yes, I accept. Now, we have an interesting situation here, actually, because we could check raise as a bluff quite a bit, and we need to balance with value hands. If we check raise, we need to stack off. Whereas if we call, we give them turns of rivers, which we don't want. I think we check raise and just call off if they jam, but that's not what we want, right? We want them to just fold and or call and turns a brick or whatever, you know? It's a moment in time. <gasps> final table hype, let's go! We unlocked the final table, thankfully. The Daily Legends doesn't look so dry anymore. We did it, dude. Yes. Okay. Here it is, chat. You beautiful people. Look at it. Look at it. Boom. Boom. The Masters. Now, it says best finish 70th place. Obviously, it's going to be better. But we got the final table icon in there. And damn, it looks good, dude. It looks good. You've outdone yourself, chubs. Oh, it feels good, man. Now, let's get the top three, guys. Let's get a trophy. Let's get a first. Let's get a second, third. Come on. Now we're coming in four of nine. We got 407 cash. First place, I think 4.7K. It's a chunk of bands. A bit of change up top, you know? And we're going to do our best to get it done. Okay. Oh my God. Aces versus Kings. It's so sick. GG to Coconuts Cold. Don't run much colder than that, Coconuts. Oh my God, dude. 13.6 million for Batatoon. We're down to eight chat. 407 cashed. Wait, are we more? Yeah, 479. It hasn't updated. There we go. 479. Hey! Give me that quick 80 bucks. Hey, now. Raise three bet from uh, Batatoon. We jam. We jam. We jam. We jam. Whoa. Run it up. 92 goes for the cold four. We still jam, right? Still good enough. Thing is, like, they're going to fold to our four bet so often. So, really, it's a two and a half million pot between the two of us. Even if we lose, you know, we're in this range. And Queen's the third best hand in poker. So, uh, it's still a four bet here with the Queens. And good luck, us. Okay. Oh, it's against the Stars Nuts, dude. This is party poker. Doesn't work over here. GG, run it up 92. There it is. 11.2 million as the man Jeff Gross dropping the raid. Let's go. We flop top two against Saki61. Hmm. I bet 8.75. Saki does some things. Saki puts in a little, so, 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 little action. So I was hoping for a playback there. But betting more than half pot is the right move there on that kind of board, I think. Saki's all in for 6.8 million. Saki's making big time jams. Oh! Against the King Estrellas fan. Picking up the big ones. The King of the King. The Cowboys knocking out Saki61. See ya, Saki. Estrellas fan takes the lead. Fair enough. Their first place were second. Fair enough. But we're down to six, chat. Down to six in this tournament. Big time dreams. Come on. Okay. This is a beautiful end here. I'm going to go... No. I was thinking about a pure bin raise. I want to make sure I keep the door open. Give the perception of the door being open. But we're going to go for the raise. Get a call from Batatoon. Check, check in the flop. Nut, flush draw, ace high. Got some showdown value in position. Don't want to blow up the pot yet. We check back. Queen of Hearts in the turn is beautiful. And check again. Still have showdown value here. But of course, we have the heart draw as well. But we don't need to bluff with this with this heart draw. And we value bet on the river, obviously, with our pair of tens. Let me take it down 2 million. Holy crap, we're down to 5. What happened? What happens? What happened, dude? Ace 10's out against Aces. Rip City. We're down to 5, chat. Oh, come on, Dottie. Please. Please, Dottie, go all the way. Raising a 3-bit Estrellas fan. Doing big things. 
Putting in aggressive action. Oh, we're a card rack, dude. We're an absolute card rack. We just have hand after hand after hand after hand. What could go wrong? Honestly. I mean, it's just like, it, it, this is our destiny to win this tournament. I don't understand how we could lose this tournament. We have the second best hand in poker. We have an aggressive big stack that didn't raise. Okay. Mr. Pow Wow, what are you going to do here? Why are we taking so long here? Raise it up. 750. I'm going to keep it pretty small here, actually. I mean, they're very short, right? So we don't have to make it too big to put pressure on them. Of course, with Kings, we're not actually trying to put pressure on them. We're just trying to make money. That's all right. 12.8 million. This is good. Strellis fan raises. We call, I think, in the small blind here. We're about 40 blinds deep. Sixes are decent. There's going to be just pure set value. Uh, but then also, there's some, still some showdown value as well with the sixes. So we'll call. Uh, call on the flop all day. How about a nice little six or five or deuce on the turn? So close. So close. It's just an upside, upside down six. Just turn the card over and we've got it. Check, check, four on the river. I'm going to block bet here. Mm, no, I'm not. <laughs> I don't think I'm going to block bet against this opponent. We'll just check. Go check, check, and we win. There we go. 14 million-ish. A little bit less. Still second place, but in a great spot. You know, there's a big difference between us and third. So, happy. And we'll still be chilling. Sevens. Sevens! Seven, seven, dream! Sevens are a prince. Oh, it's really awkward against the Strelis fan, actually, because I don't like jamming for 36 blinds. Uh, I don't like three betting either, so I think we call. I mean, we can jam against these two, but not against the Strelis fan. 884 on the flop. Pretty good. Pretty good. Call on the flop to the turn. Good turn. We can continue on this turn unless they bet like five million or something. And we pick up the gutter and we still have two pair of eights and sevens. The river's gonna be interesting though, because if they bet the river, it's like they're representing an over pair or a flopped eight. And that's kind of it, you know? Which is hard to have, but it's possible too. They bet on the turn. We're gonna call. How about a five on the river? Would be so nice. Five or a seven. Okay. Jack doesn't mean anything, doesn't change anything. It's close. I don't really know what I want to do here. It's really close as to whether I should call or not. Nice. We'll stop. Just a little, little. It was straight. Good bluff catcher, actually. They're not always going to have hearts. They will sometimes, but not always. Board pairs. It was to six high hearts. It's okay. It's so profitable in these spots to flop flush draws because you can just put so much pressure on people given the stacks. So I think I want to call uh, and go to a flop. Well, we actually flop an open ender here with backdoor diamonds, which is pretty cool. Uh, it would be profitable to just go for the check rip, but I don't think it's the right line in that we lose max against ace-king and king-queen and king-jack. Whereas if we just call here, it's probably going to go check-check on the turn most of the time, except for when they have a decent hand. So let's call. Uh, ace on the turn is the dream. Uh, I'm going to check, actually. I could lead. problem is their calling range is going to be so wide. All of their pairs... Uh, are just gonna call. He goes check check and we'll bet the river now. I think 1.4 million. I mean Really, we're trying to get ace higher worse to fold here. So We don't have to go big here for our bluff. We have five high. We should definitely bluff by the way But we don't have to go big ace 10. All right. Well, this is a hand we could go all in against GG Lun actually Reshove against the Strelis fan uh, Against Mr. Pow. It's pretty awkward actually if they limp We don't want to get limp jammed on here but I guess a min raise from GG Lun is a really simple uh, three bet all in. Let's go for it. Oh no. Oh, it's so gross. How do they have it? In this spot, how do they have it, dude? God, and now we're just in the pack. If poker's so sick sometimes, dude. Everyone's tied now. It's such a stupid spot for them to have it 15 blinds deep. It's so stupid. Estrella's fan now on about 6 million. Tough spot for them. We have Ace Jack, though. Definitely a reshove hand. We get a raise from Astralis fan. Snap raise. I mean, I think the play is to shove, but I'm a little tilted at how quickly they raise that because I'm worried about getting called, but I'm not strong enough in my read that they have a decent hand here to not shove. Like, a shack's too good. So we're all in and hope that my read is... My little uh, inkling of a read is wrong. <laughs> we're all in. The doubt I have in my mind, but unfortunately the doubt was on points. And this is a really interesting hand as we chop, as we chop up that end. Very lucky. It's an interesting hand though because this happens all the time in poker. All the time. It's a really important concept I think actually, which is how confident are you in the data that you're using to make your decision? And it's, it's pretty important. 
Mr. Powell goes for the min raise as the chip leader. I think just re-jam here. Because uh, I think they're going to open a really wide range. There we go. 10 million. This is how you burst it open, dude. Uh, going to slow play. Such a good spot. Like, such a good squeeze spot for these three. Um, we have the absolute nuts. Here comes the slow play. Come on, dude. Oh, no. It's a flat. Oh, no. It's a queen jack 10. Oh, this is sick. It's a pretty bad flop for us, especially when they overcall here because they can have some two pair combo. Queen jack, queen 10, jack 10. Queen jack 10 is, of course, possible. 9 8 suited. King 9 suited. Uh, East king possible, but not likely. I think I'm actually going to check here. As silly as that is, it's just like this is a really scary texture. I'm not worried about too many cards, right? Like a queen jack 10 or king rolling off or a heart is all kind of okay with their hand, but we want to control the size of the pot here. 10? Eh, maybe. Maybe not the best, but it's fine. I'd prefer a queen instead of a 10, but... I'm going to bet fold to a jam. But I'm going to try and get some value from my hand now with aces and tens. I think if we get check raise, it's really hard to find draws that would check raise here. Or worse value hands. Like, even kings, I think, are going to play their hand differently. So, I think we're... All systems go to bet here. And we take it down. Okay. Well, that was intense. It was intense with aces. Oh, oh, three way all in, nines, threes, ace, king. We want nines to hold, actually, just for the double lads. Okay, ace, king. All right. One ladder, six million for Mr. Powell, 22 million for Batatoo. Uh, shove four, 16 blinds. Don't want to raise, open the opportunity for the chip leader to reshove. No, dude, no. No, 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 no! How do they have it here? How? How do they have it there? Oh! Oh, that's a huge equity punt!